It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we're in for a rematch of Super Bowl 41. It's the Chicago Bears and the Indianapolis Colts, and it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 25. It's the National Football League, presented by EA Sports. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gunn with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. Two men ready to do battle. It's time to dance. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. And just shutting him off there. The Colts heading out for the first time behind their 22-year-old quarterback in his second season now in the NFL, Anthony Richardson. And we're talking about an uber-talented young quarterback. Finally healthy after suffering a setback a season ago. Obviously, you'd love to have him on the field, but the time away... May have been a blessing in disguise in terms of long-term development. And if you ask anyone around the Indianapolis camp, make no mistake about it, they have lofty expectations of this young man, and he is a big, big player in the Colts' future. Off play action, Richardson. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. A lot of talk the other day about them wanting to quiet this home crowd early and often. Very first play of the game, they do just that. You're exactly right about that because that's often a conversation when you go on the road and you travel. Hey, let's take the crowd out of it. What a great way of doing so by putting the quarterback on the deck. Got to hope that's not a sign of things to come as they face an early second and long. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. That penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. So the penalty erases their earlier loss. Now it's second and eight. They go play action with Richardson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Taylor. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And this will wind up being a third and three. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. Great first drive defensively. Third and short, able to stuff the run. And what it does is it gives not just confidence to your defensive players, it gives an overall feeling of, okay, we've established things here early. We can carry this throughout the game. To punt on fourth down, here's Rigoberto Sanchez. DeAndre Carter back deep. Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Bears take over. So the Bears ready to go on offense. And it's the number one overall pick leading them out. The Heisman Trophy winner from USC, Caleb Williams. And we're talking about a young man who proved it at every step along the way. First at Oklahoma, then at USC. Big time talent, big time production, and won a Heisman Trophy while playing for the Trojans. Now, the number one overall pick lands in Chicago, and there's an awful lot of talent awaiting him, and now he gets a chance to utilize those weapons. To the air, Williams. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. 
lot of great quarterbacks from USC. Here's another one. The rookie's got a first down. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop him. And he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. From the shotgun, a throw for Williams. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. Two yards that time. A stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And a hard-working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. That's a very nice game there, a confidence-building run. Love the execution up front, and the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. To throw, Williams. Looks for the out route, and it's complete to commit. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. That'll give him 8 that time. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. From the gun, here's Swift. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Swift diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. So both sides of the football contributing here early. Their defense forces the punt, and then the offense takes it down the field and punches it in on the short touchdown run. And Brandon, that's good complimentary football, and that's what they're going to need if they want to get out of here victorious. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And he's got it to make it 7-0 in favor of the Bears. So the drive there took six plays. And the end result is a Bears touchdown. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit I don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and they out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. That'll go for a gain of seven at its second down. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Seven yards there and a first down. A vintage run there because when the chains move with him, they move quickly. No secret that Taylor's one of the most electric playmakers in the league whenever he's on the field. Always a threat to go the distance. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. A throw out wide, going to be incomplete. 
no sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Now a second and ten. Richardson looking to throw this. His throw incomplete. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Richardson to throw off play action. This one completes Alec Pierce. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. And Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Second and nine. Looking to throw is Williams. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's a good-looking play to me. The big tight end on a crossing route coming underneath. Sometimes he can gain some serious momentum going forward, can he? Yeah, he can indeed, and pretty well executed there. Now they need two. Here's third down. They'll try and run here with Swift. And yeah, brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. First down, and they go with Swift again. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. They'll come up facing third and five. To throw, it's Williams. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Partner, the Mike linebacker, the middle linebacker has so many different responsibilities. How excited do you think he was to get home with that blitz? Yeah, he wants a sack. He got it. Here comes the Bears punter now. The deep to return is Josh Downs. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10.
from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Richardson looking to throw. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there. And now it's third down in inches. Here comes third and about a foot. Richardson working from the gun. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Colts first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there. And they get the first down. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Got a man complete, it's Taylor. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you've got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. From the shotgun, Richardson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. From the 31, here's a second and five. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Here's Richardson to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. And Gay knocks this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them, that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far, finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two as they get set to start their drive with a first and ten.
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And they'll take over here following the interception with good field position and a chance to take the lead with a touchdown. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Richardson off the play fake. And his throw here is incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Now Richardson. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Pittman's first catch, good for a first down. And Michael Pittman had another strong campaign in Indianapolis last season. They saw him set career highs in receptions with 109 and over 1,100 yards. He's extremely valuable to this offense, and they really want to pair him with their young quarterback, Anthony Richardson, and management recognized that by giving him a new contract. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position could get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. Play action. Now Richardson. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Now it's Richardson. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. No sweat from Montez Sweat that time as he makes that stop look easy. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Interested to see what they dial up here. Third and goal with a lot of green between them and the end zone. Richardson. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. 
Gay's kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. Well, still some climbing left to do to get back to even, but forcing a turnover and getting the field goal there, that's a small step toward erasing the early deficit. Absolutely. That interception field goal, that's the beginning of what they hope will be several steps towards erasing that deficit and building a lead of their own by the time this game is over. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Chicago offense set to get started. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive, because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. For Keenan Allen, that's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Play action. Now Williams. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. But nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Williams. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Colts offense and running back Jonathan Taylor heading back onto the field. And he has been a big component of the passing game so far. You see the numbers for this first half. This defense is going to need to find some way to key in on him because he is eating him up right now. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Here's second and three. From the gun, it's Taylor. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he takes this all the way down to the Bears' 29-yard line. A big play there for Andy. 45 yards. And you talk about great blocking up front. I don't think he was even touched, not a finger on him, until he was brought down to the ground. I think we heard the whoosh as he went by, didn't we? Right through the gap. No one there, as you outlined, no one touched him at all. A free sprint into the secondary. Yeah, that's what you call breaking free right there. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there. Second down. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Here's second and ten. And Richardson back to throw it. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. I can't be sure how much of that was playing pre-snap, 
but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. Looking for Pearson, he's got him. Touchdown, Indianapolis. 10 yards on the touchdown pass. And the Colts have taken the lead. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll make this a six-point game. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now? Is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. To the air, Williams. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be second down. Throwing is Williams. And that's going to be incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. From the gun, here's Williams. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. Down the sideline he goes. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Brutal. So take away the long touchdown. It's a cruel game sometimes, partner. They'll fake the give, now Williams. That's caught, it's DeAndre Carter. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Of course the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's a handoff to Swift running left. Runs through the contact, and he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. 
Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give them a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. Even with him busting through the contact, he'll still be stopped just inside the 35. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. That third down conversion, good for 23. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now a first and 10 at the 11. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. From the five, second and four. To throw, Williams. Escaping the pressure. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Quinny Pay getting in there and burying him behind the line. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. Looking to throw. Williams. That's to Moore, and he's got it. Touchdown, Bears. From 17 yards out. And the Bears are an extra point away from capturing the lead. That pass also evens the ledger for the rookie quarterback. Had the interception earlier, and now he gets the touchdown throw. The ideal touchdown interception. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Santos now to add the PAT. And this puts him on top by a penny. It's 14-13. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it concludes with a touchdown reception by D.J. Moore. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line.
Richardson looking to throw this. Eluding the pressure right. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. That's multiple times now he's tagged him with a big gain with his legs. Really showing off some nice awareness and the ability to correctly realize when he's got a chance to tuck it and go himself. And connecting here with Pittman on the out route. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Back to throw, Richardson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Looking to throw. Richardson work in the middle of the field and he's got a man to play and he is going to have a Colts first down they needed four he doubled that he wound up getting eight that's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half they'd love to take the clock all the way down and score this will definitely help the cause back to throw again he'll find a man over the middle it's Pittman Second down and three. Back to the air with Richardson. And he's got his man out of the slot. Complete. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Richardson out of the shotgun. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. And that's where you're counting on a receiver's size being an advantage. They were hoping he could go over the top of a smaller DB and haul that one in. A good thought, but that time it didn't work out. Second and ten. Richardson looking to throw. Quick slant caught by Pierce. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 12-yard line. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Gay knocks this one through, and they have regained the lead. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, he's still been able to come away with points due to his leg. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25.
The final shot before break. Williams. And his throw is incomplete. So we have reached halftime here in a tight two-point contest. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Looking to throw is Williams. A little short pass. This is Everett. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. So that flag obviously takes away the good yardage that they had on the play. And talk about a momentum shift because we can visibly see this celebration shifting from one side of the field to the other as soon as everyone saw the flag. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. To throw, it's Williams. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And for the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. From the shotgun, a throw for Williams. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Decent gain on the scramble at six, but now it's fourth. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. 
These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. Now a chance to make that encroachment penalty really hurt. First and five. Now Richardson. Over the middle, hauled in by Pierce. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Out of his hands quickly to Pittman. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space... And I think the ball's out. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. And while all of that was going on, we have an injured player out there in need of some attention. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Second and short now following the fumble. Richardson working from the gun. And this will be incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. The keeper nets him only a yard, and that's going to bring up fourth. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Now it's Richardson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And the Bears will get the football back. And you wonder, Charles, could that decision come back to haunt them later? And it really could, because in this situation, you kick the field goal in a tight game like this, that's a good play. Yeah. But maybe what he's saying to himself is, I'm just not a big proponent of the old idea that any possession that ends in a kick, I'm happy with. He wanted to be really aggressive. A little twist here in the third quarter. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. 
Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. Second and nine now. That's the rookie from Washington, Roma Dunze. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mouse trap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Here's a first and ten now after they successfully drew him off sides. This is Swift on the counter. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. DeForest Buckner using that size to force his way in there and make the stop behind the line. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Here's Williams. And that one too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Try to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. We know that the rookie's going to go to a top target like that often. That time, though, maybe a little telegraphed. And that's not unusual because you do tend to lock in on one of your better players and went under duress, went in doubt. You're going to throw the ball in his direction because oftentimes you can be wrong, but that receiver will make you right but it won't happen every time. Good defenders know this, and they get attracted to the football. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll start with the option. And they move this all the way down to the nine. The keeper there turning into a big play of 23 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. When they're lined up in the 46 defense like that, running is just going to be a slog. Especially if you're trying to run it in the middle of the defense. So what you're hoping, get a stalemate against the three across the front, and can you get some one-on-one -on -one blocks that you can win on the perimeter? To me, that's the best place to carry the football. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in. But it is hard to adjust to a pass thrown a little bit behind you. That one was all the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can. But this is third and goal. Yeah, Richardson back to throw it. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Gay's kick is good, and that will push the lead up to five. So they got the turnover started with great field position, but in the end, the defense able to hold firm 
And they only get three out of it. And I like what you said right there. That defense able to hold firm. Backed up into the shadow of their own end zone. The goal post right behind them. They had to make sure they didn't give up the six. And boy, they came through in a big way. To them, even though they gave up three, that's a win for their side. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Bears offense and Caleb Williams set to go to work once more. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Second down, eight to go from the 28. To the air, Williams. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. Throwing is Williams. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Quinny Pay able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. That's his second sack of the game. The best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. The Colts offense and Anthony Richardson ready for this next possession. And this defense has got to be at its wits end, trying to come up with ways to keep him contained. He's had so many opportunities to tuck it and go, and he's turned a number of those opportunities into big plays. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. First and 10, Taylor now. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 79 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they were able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. He's going to let it go deep for Mitchell. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Richardson. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. On every offensive coordinator, 
every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays, and you don't get many opportunities to dial them up, and they just did, and they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. Here's Richardson to throw. That is caught. Fighting through it. He's got space. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. What heck of a third down conversion. 33 yards. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Indianapolis. It's the Colts. They've got control of the football. They also have the lead as we start the fourth. Again, it's Richardson. to the end zone. Touchdown Indianapolis. Anthony Richardson. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Colts will add to their fourth quarter lead. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And able to get this out to the 25. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. Once again, it's Swift. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 55 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. They will run straight ahead with Swift, and he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Now second and nine. To throw, Williams. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. 
So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that one or what? <laughs> they had gotten into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. On third down, here comes Swift. And Swift is not going to get there as they stop him short of the yellow line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks, and now here's a tackle behind the line. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll try it now with Swift. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. He needed a yard. He didn't get anything. And the Colts are going to take over with a football. Partner, when you see a running play stop short like that, you just know that the defensive front, they won the battle of leverage and created the push back into the opposing backfield. And for the offensive coordinator, whether you had one yard to go or 20 yards to go on fourth down, now you're probably saying, oh, maybe I should have passed it, right? Yeah, hindsight is always 20-20. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 41 yard line Richardson looking to throw this throwing over and it's Taylor on the out route that completes it just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw and in this case that's exactly what he did found his running back let him create some space and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense from just shy of midfield. Here's second and a couple. Now Richardson, he's going to keep it running right. A solid gain of seven yards that time on the keeper and a first down. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone who has the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, it'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the foot. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. A short one there, caught by Granson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 31-yard line. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Back to throw, Richardson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. These are running back numbers that he's accumulating right now. Received double-digit carries and has rewarded them by breaking the century mark and rushing, in addition to what he's done through the air. Definitely MVP caliber football we're witnessing. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. From the shotgun, Richardson. Touchdown! Alec Pierce with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. 
So an important touchdown right there is now they're really beginning to pull away. Yeah, this was a tight game until not too long ago. But since then, they've hit the accelerator. And they pushed the lead up to three scores here in the fourth quarter. And I don't see them looking back. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And that one makes this a 19-point game. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was capped off by a touchdown catch from Alec Pierce. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Chicago offense set to get started. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride the offense this go around. Williams now throwing to start the drive. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try and throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. They'll try again with the arm here on second down. They'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. From the gun on third down, Williams. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. Throwing the out route and complete. That's Allen. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the 43, here's second and two. To the air once more, Williams. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Seven yards there at a first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Allen. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it'll be second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And pass complete to Moore. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. 
When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. The offense on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This will be third and six. Caught by Allen. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. It'll go as a gain of four. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Colts are going to take over with a football. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Been a very strong performance for them, really on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs is the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That's now consecutive five-yard carries to pick up the first down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Again, it's Taylor. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. 99 yards rushing for him now to this point. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. All the option to give to Taylor here. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays, and they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. On the return, Carter. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out up. of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Looks like they're going to keep throwing to the bitter end. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're going to go down fighting. That one, incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, here's Williams. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. 
Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Looking to throw is Williams. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. They'll go. Here's Williams. And this is caught. He hits more. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. So this one winds up an Indianapolis victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, 